My God, what have I done? Oh my God. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Craftable Animals mod which simply adds a crazy amount of new recipes into your game so that you can go ahead and craft every single animal and mob in the game. So this mod is going to make your farming life a lot easier which is the main idea for the mod but it's also going to allow you to craft all those weird and rare mobs you like just for fun basically. <laughs> so there's a lot of recipes to get through and this mod actually adds four new items that are pretty cool looking so <laughs> I'm gonna go over those first and then I'll get to all the crafting recipes for all the different mobs. So first up, oh he's so cute. We'll get, we'll get on to how to craft these in a little bit but first up is the animal bow and to craft these you need one bow and an animal of your choice. So this can be anything and you get the animal bow and I'll be able to um, demonstrate that later on so I can't just pick it up and you have to craft it so that you can fire your animal of choice. So what the animal bow does as I've just kind of hinted on is it it shoots an animal and spawns it wherever the arrow lands basically so I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Up next we have the empty spawner so we have lots of iron bars all the way around the crafting table with a space in the middle. We'll make this which is an empty spawner and then when you have the empty spawner, you can right click it with any animal and it will create that kind of spawner. So that's pretty cool for adventure maps. So you can install the mod and then create what you need to create, then uninstall it and it'll be all good and proper for your adventure map. So up next is the ender crystal, which is completely crazy, but it doesn't actually have a proper function yet. You have uh, to make it though, you need two blocks of glass. You need a flint and steel, two eyes of enders and four obsidian. And I'll show you what that looks like later. It looks incredible. I'm not sure what it's for yet. And then we have the minimizer, which is awesome and animated. Look at this sheep. But what you need for that is three crafted pigs, two crafted sheep and a cow and you'll make the minimizer so over here i've got them in here and we're going to craft a pig bow and then we're going to make a pig spawner and we're also going to make a a really tiny sheep <laughs> so let's craft this bow very quickly so you just need to take a bow add any animal and you'll get the animal bow which shoots the animal of your choice so if i get this it will spawn in this tree up here and i spawned a, a spawned a zombie a zombie so i guess what um this works with is it you just craft the animal bow as usual and then you take it takes the ammo from whatever's on your inventory so right now i've got zombies in my inventory for something later on so let's just test this and i'll go with the cow and fire the cow so um yeah let's fire this cow let's try and get it up there with the zombie that'll look pretty hilarious yes it works it works so whatever you have in your inventory I lied a bit earlier, but whatever you have in your inventory, animal-wise, is what the animal bow shoots. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the empty spawner. So if you place an empty spawner down here, it's just like this. And then if you put a animal into it... Oh my god, why did I do that? Quick, destroy it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it works. As a normal spawner, you can spawn anything you like. Any craftable animal, which is everything in this mod, creates that. So that's pretty cool. And one thing to note is they're not burning, and I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, so this is the ender crystal as well. Let's just place this into the world and this looks incredible I love the way this model works and just looks but I'm not sure what it does It doesn't say anything on the minecraft forum page about what it does, but it looks damn awesome I think you'll agree and then we have the minimizer as well. So let me just where's the pig's gone oh, I used it to craft the thing so let's take this pig spawn it and it's a normal pig and if you use the minimizer when you left click you'll make it into a baby animal if that's what can happen so like with a skeleton you can't make a baby skeleton and stuff like that and then if you right click you'll make it back to normal so look a bit of, bit of wizardry going on here bit of wizardry bit of wizardry so now that i've got the craftable items out of the way let's get to how to craft these mobs and animals so in this chest are the simple or a couple of um simple recipes with the cow the sheep the pig and the enderman so you can actually craft every single thing in here so i'm not going to go over every single recipe but if you go to the link in the description below and click that it's also where you can download the mod but it also show you all the recipes so i haven't really got time to go through all of them but i'm going to show you the coolest ones and the simplest ones as well so to craft a cow you need four leather and five raw beef to craft a cow and it will make it like this and these 
I forgot to mention earlier, replace spawning eggs. So you don't have spawn eggs in your inventory anymore. You just have these little plastic things that spawn the appropriate animal. So to make a pig, you need lots of raw pork chops. To spawn an enderman, you need lots of ender pearls. And to spawn a sheep, you need a raw pork chop surrounded by wool. So these just work as normal crafting eggs. Spawn eggs, sorry. I didn't know what I'm talking about. But they just look like this. They look pretty hilarious, actually. Come back. And you can just right-click, and it will spawn all of these good stuff that you've created. So they just act as normal mobs. I don't know why I shouldn't have spawned that enderman. Nope, I shouldn't have done that. But they work as normal spawn eggs. And yeah, I think it's really cool how you can craft them. It would be cool if you can, like own them and name them because they're just like normal mobs at the moment but yeah i think it's really cool so let's move on to a couple of the more interesting recipes and in this chest is a lot of goodness so we've got a lot of different ways to craft stuff so the coolest recipe is you can actually spawn in the ender dragon and as you notice i've got not enough items installed which isn't something i usually have installed but that's because you need the ender dragon egg to craft a, a craftable ender dragon <laughs> if that makes sense so you need four pieces of ender stone three eyes of ender a block of diamond and a dragon egg to spawn an ender dragon so let's go ahead and try this i haven't tried this before so note it could go wrong so here we go oh my god nope i shouldn't have done that Um, let's just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. So yeah, he seems to have flown on away, which was a, which is a really good thing. So I'm just going to keep this diamond sword handy just in case. So I don't know if you saw that, but in the text it says, are you sure you want to do this? It will do massive damage to your world. So, um, yeah, do be wary of that. But that was pretty cool. You do need to get a dragon egg to be able to do it. But moving on. So this mod actually has some really cool customization options, which is probably why it has so many recipes. So first off, we're going to need a zombie for this. So to craft this, you need a lot of rod and flesh and then a feather in the middle to craft a zombie. And then with this zombie, because of the new features in Minecraft, the newest Minecraft 1.4, you can actually create zombies with lots of different armor. So if you let's take this diamond sword, golden helmet, and iron leggings and take this zombie over to the crafting table. I love the way this looks. It looks like a pretty crazy voodoo doll. It just looks hilarious. So if we take this over to the crafting table and put this in and then put a hat on top, it will craft a zombie wearing a golden helmet and then it'll tell you what it hasn't got. So if we craft all these and then put it into the crafting table, it will craft a zombie with a golden helmet, iron pants, and holding a diamond sword. So let's go ahead and spawn this. It will be safe because I'm in creative. Just go over here, walk over here, and then spawn him. He will spawn with all the stuff that you created him with. So that is a really awesome feature that I really like. I don't know why you'd want to spawn in mobs that can actually kill you better, but there you go. So another cool customization option, which I think is one of the coolest, is the spider jockey. So to craft a spider, first off, you need four cobwebs, four spider eyes, and a piece of rotten flesh to create the spider. And then you can take anything that you like, any mob that you like, sorry, to um, put it on top of a spider jockey. So two of them that are really cool are the zombie pigman and the creeper. So if we take a it over to the crafting table, put in the spider, and then put the creeper on top, it will create a creeper jockey. So the ones that you can usually see are the skeleton jockeys, but these ones look so much cooler. Oh my god. So let's go and preview this, and they look really flipping weird, actually. Oh my god. So let's grab another spider and try it with a zombie pigman, because I think that would be cool. And I think this is a really awesome customization feature of the, um, the mod. And you can make some really cool looking mobs here. Look at... No, that's the wrong one. Look at this guy. He's just just chilling there without anything on him. Just straight up naked zombie pig man riding a spider. Nothing unusual to see here. So one of the last things I want to show you are a little bit more of the customization options, which are to do with slimes and sheep. So with slimes, to craft a normal tiny slime, you get a ring of slime balls in your crafting recipe, leaving out in the middle space, you get tiny slimes. And then you can create different sizes of slime so no one likes slimes but you can create really cool looking ones so let's take this tiny slime and you can craft a small slime with when you put them in a block of four in a crafting table and then if you craft four of the small slimes you take them and you can create a big slime and the pattern continues until you get to a giant slime so if we get this and place it into the world i'm not sure how giant this is going to be so let's put it in a tree holy crap that is massive. Look at that. 
Wow. <laughs> and that isn't even the only giant mob that you can create. You can create a giant zombie as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's get rid of all this first. God damn it. All this slime in my inventory. It stinks. Stinks. So yeah, the next giant mob you can create is a giant zombie and you just need three zombies, put them in a line like this and you've got the giant zombie! And I haven't tried to spawn this either just to save the reaction and let's tr but let's try it. Uh, oh, that cow. Poor cow. So spawn this one in the tree as well and... <laughs> oh my god, that is crazy. Look how big that is. That cow is terrified. But he's stuck in a tree so he can't really do anything. Look at that thing. That thing's gonna destroy you. Look at me. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> so as you can see, there is a lot of cool stuff that can be done with this mod. You can create lots of cute little animals. You can create lots of big beasty zombies. You can create loads of stra- What happened to you? <laughs> you can create loads of strange looking mobs and really cool looking ones too. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. I've only shown you a couple of the recipes in this, some of the coolest ones. But if you like what you see and want to play it for yourself to find out even more of the crafting recipes, then please do go to the description below to check it out. And also, one thing that I didn't mention is this is fully compatible with the Mo Creatures mod. So you can add even more recipes into your game. So yeah, that is pretty much it from me. So if you are new to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favourite would be greatly appreciated. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching and goodbye! Goodbye. My God, what have I done? Oh my god. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Craftable Animals mod which simply adds a crazy amount of new recipes into your game so that you can go ahead and craft every single animal and mob in the game. So this mod is going to make your farming life a lot easier which is the main idea for the mod but it's also going to allow you to craft all those weird and rare mobs you like just for fun basically. <laughs> so there's a lot of recipes to get through and this mod actually adds four new items that are pretty cool looking. So <laughs> I'm gonna go over those first and then I'll get to all the crafting recipes for all the different mobs. So first up, oh, he's so cute. We'll get, we'll get on to how to craft these in a little bit. But first up is the animal bow. And to craft these, you need one bow and an animal of your choice. So this can be anything and you get the animal bow. And I'll be able to um, demonstrate that later on. So I can't just pick it up and you have to craft it so that you can fire your animal of choice. So what the animal bow does, as I've just kind of hinted on, is it, it shoots an animal and spawns it wherever the arrow lands, basically. So I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Up next, we have the empty spawner. So we have lots of iron bars all the way around the crafting table with a space in the middle. We'll make this, which is an empty spawner. And then when you have the empty spawner, you can right click it with any animal and it will create that kind of spawner. So that's pretty cool for adventure maps. So you can install the mod and then create what you need to create, then uninstall it and it'll be all good and proper for your adventure map. So up next is the ender crystal, which is completely crazy, but it doesn't actually have a proper function yet. You have, uh, to make it though, you need two blocks of glass, you need a flint and steel, two eyes of enders and four obsidian, and I'll show you what that looks like later. It looks incredible, but I'm not sure what it's for yet. And then we have the minimizer, which is awesome and anime 